Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and take care. The movie begins in a wooded area, and there's a band of highly skilled thieves from Paris, who are experts in robbing armored trucks. The head of the gang, Yanis Zeri is riding along in the vehicle with his trusty companions Nasser, Franck, and Amin, who is the leader's younger brother. When Yanis requires an explosives expert for a major job, Nasser connects him to Eric, a young expert whom he met while he was incarcerated. Eric is very knowledgeable about explosives. The crew gets together with Eric, and gives him the task of setting up an explosive on top of a manhole cover. Yanis makes the observation in subsequent moments as the gang is playing soccer, that Amin has brought girls onto the field. After some time, while Yanis is eating with his brother Amin, he inquires as to the reason why Amin invited girls onto the field. Amin tries to explain that he did not share any information with them on his job. Yanis takes pleasure in plotting and carrying out elaborate robberies. However, instead of flaunting his fortune or living a lavish lifestyle, he prefers to keep a low profile, and clean the money he earns via the criminal activities of his friends and family. Even though Amin is only a driver for the gang, he claims he is not compensated adequately for his role in the organization. On the other hand, Yanis informs him he is already receiving a very good salary, simply because he is his brother. The next day, the gang gets ready to commit a robbery. To be more specific, they are required to pull over and rob an armored truck that is transporting money. While the others wait in two separate automobiles, Nasser is driving about in a truck, because there won't be a rematch. When Yanis sees the truck coming, he drives his BMW straight into the back of it, and causes a collision. Later, Nasser is seen blocking the only exit from the van. After that, Eric detonates a grenade of smoke inside the vehicle after first blowing up the van's rear door with an explosive device. The smoke inside compels the officers to leave the building, whereupon the gang attacks them and throws them to the ground. After that, they steal the money, and flee the scene in a vehicle. When they finally get to a wilderness that is a significant distance from the city, they toss their guns and blow up the car. The group finds the local news has already begun talking about them upon their return. In the meantime, Amin is given the instruction to throw all of the weapons away in a river. The next day, the gang gets together in a hotel room, to decide how to split the stolen goods. When Eric arrives, Yanis hands him a sealed envelope with the sum of 300,000 euros. Frank enters the room suddenly, and announces that he witnessed Eric engaging in drug activity. Eric reveals he takes oxycodone to manage the pain from an old explosion injury, and Nasser adamantly maintains that the group should have faith in him. At long last, Yanis gives in and permits him to leave. After that, Eric gets a job, and ends up making a significant amount of money for himself. Yanis travels to see his sister, Nora, in order to hand over the 10,000 euros, but Nora declines to accept the gift. In the meantime, Eric returns home to his wife, Audrey, and breaks the news to her that he and his friends would be joining them for supper at some point. Audrey is concerned about Eric, believing he would be incarcerated once more. Nevertheless, he reassures her there is no need for her to be concerned about this matter. After giving her a kiss, he assures her that they will travel to Argentina together. The next day, Yanis meets with Marion, his ex-girlfriend. He tries to persuade her to get back together, but she believes he is living a criminal lifestyle, so she breaks up with him. Everyone enjoys a good time and gets to know one another when they are eating dinner together. After that, Eric proceeds to the restroom, in order to take further tablets, but he ultimately decides to discard them. He has a conversation with Yanis, and reveals to him that in the past, he had been arrested and put in jail for a period of seven years. Yanis has never been put behind bars because of the meticulous way in which he plans assignments. A few days later, Nora, Amin's sister, gets a visit from a mysterious man at her place of employment. Almost immediately, she relays the information to Yanis, informing him the mysterious man is following in Amin's footsteps. Yanis, Nora and Nasser go to Amin's house to find out what happened. It turns out Amin kept a gun used during the robbery, and sold it. Yanis is furious, because the police kept the bullets, and can easily identify that the gun was used during the robbery. Yanis calls the number of the man on Amin's phone, and discovers he sold the gun to a drug dealer in the slums. Unfortunately, the police found it, and the drug dealer was sentenced to 10 years in prison. The man on the other end of the phone tells Yanis they must meet to talk, or his family will be killed. Yanis agrees on where to meet, and then hangs up. In the evening, they arrive at the address provided, and Yanis introduces himself as Amin. Yanis has his eyes covered, and is taken to a gang leader, Salif. Yanis tries to offer him a sum of money to end things peacefully, but Salif refuses, he wants him to repay him by robbing a shipment of drugs from Belgium. At first, Yanis is hesitant, 
but then he realizes he has no choice. When he talks to the other gang members, Frank is adamantly opposed to the idea, and refuses to participate, because he does not want to kill and transport drugs. Yanis and Nora are getting worried about them, but Yanis tells her not to meddle. He informs her that her boyfriend, Frank, has backed out. Later, Yanis visits his mother, although the two no longer speak to each other. He tries to convince her to sleep at his place for two days, but she refuses. He leaves, but tells Nasser to keep an eye on her, and then tells him they need more men for the mission. Yanis and Nasser visit Eric at work, and offer him to join them, promising him a 900,000 euro haul. Eric tells his girlfriend, but she is concerned and tries to talk him out of it. Meanwhile, Nora argues with Frank, because he refused to help Yanis with the mission. A few days later, the gang starts the mission. Nasser steals a truck and crashes into the sedan containing the drugs, killing the two people inside. Yanis arrives shortly after, and they pull the bodies out of the car. Then Eric arrives and grabs the sedan with an excavator. Suddenly, Nasser is shot in a firefight when a car comes out of nowhere. Yanis manages to kill the two enemies, but Nasser dies from his wounds. Eric and Yanis put Nasser inside a car, and set it on fire. Then the two get into the truck, and head to Salif. On the way, Yanis calls him and tells him he must now follow his rules, but Yanis has not considered one thing. Salif has managed to find Yanis' mother's house, and is now holding her hostage. Yanis then calls Amin and his gang, telling them to follow. Yanis and Eric deliver the drugs to Salif. After Eric brings the car back to the ground, Salif's men continue to hold them at gunpoint, while the others search for the drugs. One of the goons tries to provoke Eric, saying they are using his wife, but Yanis tries to calm him down. Soon after, Salif's men see Amin's gang arrive, and inform the leader. Salif believes Yanis tried to set a trap for him, but the car soon drives away. After Salif finds it, a sudden gunfight breaks out with one of Amin's henchmen. Salif gets into a car, and immediately drives away, while one of his henchmen is left alone. Yanis takes him hostage, and questions him where they have taken his mother. The henchman reveals the address, and then they get into Amin's car. In the process, Salif orders his henchman to kill Yanis's mother. The guy is undecided, and fortunately, Yanis manages to arrive in time to save his mother. He grabs his mother and runs off with a friend. Once they arrive outside, his friend is suddenly killed by Salif, who was waiting for them. Salif tries to kill Yanis as well, but fails to hit him. Yanis, having a good aim, shoots him first in the leg, and then he approaches and shoots him twice. Soon, Yanis sees Amin coming, but a police car is also coming. Amin backs up to stop the police and allow Yanis to escape with his mother in a stolen car. When Eric finally gets back to his residence, he discovers that his dog has already been killed. When he enters the house however, he is horrified to find his girlfriend has also been murdered. This makes the situation even more dire. Eric is incredibly upset, and immediately starts crying. In addition to this, he finds out Salif's men stole all of his money from their earlier theft. Eric drives to his son's school to pick him up after class. Later, Yanis and her mother make their way to Nora's house, where his friends have been waiting for them. Yanis informs his mother they have no choice but to make a hasty escape to Morocco, but she assures him she won't leave the house without Amin. In the evening, Yanis consults with his attorney. He admits he is in the process of making preparations for his family to travel to Casablanca by sea, and instructs his attorney to transfer his fortune to Morocco, and to inform him when his brother will be released from the holding cell. He pays his ex-girlfriend a visit, and attempts to persuade her to travel to Morocco with him, but she is not interested and leaves. When Eric and his son get to Yanis's house, Yanis tells Eric that he and his son can go into hiding in Morocco if they want to. Eric is relieved to hear this news, and makes the generous offer to assist him in releasing Amin, while his kid travels to Morocco with Nora and her mother. Yanis and his crew stage an ambush on a police van, and they rescue Amin. Soon, they flee from the authorities who are pursuing them on motorcycles. However, when they go to a parking lot to use the getaway vehicle, the cops start firing on them, and a shootout occurs. Amin and Eric are able to get away from the cops because Yanis started a cover fire. The pair gets on a city bus that is leaving, and watches as Yanis slowly exits the parking lot, where he is shot by a young police officer. They then continue on their journey, and arrive at a port in Morocco in a fishing boat. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. Turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out.